In this video, we're going to insert a random image and then reflect it about a line and use that um, process to think about how students might observe what reflections really are. So the first thing I want to do is insert my image. So I click the Insert Image tool. And now I select where I want that image to go. I click right here. And then, of course, you can have a number of images or screenshots or whatever that you can then open and insert into right, the program. Now what I'm going to do is click my point tool and I'm going to establish point A down here by clicking uh, on the lower left corner of the flag, clicking the flag and hitting command or control E. Then it will bring up the position tab right here. I'm going to click corner one as point A. And then what happens of course is that the image moves so that A is the bottom left corner of the flag. I close this and then create another point B on the lower right hand side and I don't have to be exactly precise there but just close enough so that the lower right corner of the flag hit command or control E again so the, the lower right corner of the flag is actually point B so let me just oops. there we go, I was hitting the wrong button command E will then bring up the tab again so you can select the second corner as B so it'll move the image so that B is the second corner. So you can be slightly off there. Don't worry about being exactly on the corner of the flag. All right, it'll move the image for you. Now I create a line through two points. This will be my reflection line. And then what I'm going to do is click my reflected object about a line tool. So I click my picture, click the line, and notice it reflects the flag. One thing you might want to do is select your image and then click object properties or just like before I could have hit control or command E go to style and then change the opacity of the image to make it more transparent this might be a reminder of which one is the original and which is the image and now you can drag those two points you made A or B in any way you want and you can observe of course how this affects the original image and its reflection alright hope that helps